he criticized President Bush for having spent too much money and not balanced the budget. Can you imagine? Now you now you look at his record, and uh, and he's tripled every year the, the level of deficit that we saw under President Bush. As a matter of fact, by the end of his first term and his only term, uh, he he will have put in place almost as much debt as all the prior presidents combined. Public debt. It's just it's just unthinkable. And so people ask me, what what, what do you think about that? And I say, well, I go back to what he said on the Today Show. He was on the Today Show shortly after being inaugurated, and he said, if I can't turn this economy around in three years, I'll be looking at a one-term proposition. And we're here to collect. That's exactly right. I'm convinced that the president will weaken the foundations of our economy. I will strengthen them. I'm convinced he'll keep on adding more and more debt. I will cut, cap, and balance the federal budget. We've had three years now with unemployment above 8%. Now, now, look back, by the way. You remember three years ago, the newly elected president said, let me borrow $787 billion. I'll keep unemployment below 8%. And it hasn't been below since. This president has failed the American people. And, and, and unemployment is not just a statistic. Being unemployed for a long period of time means uh, families having a hard time making ends meet. It, it means, uh, in some cases, people... Uh, having trouble in their marriages, losing faith, becoming depressed. It's a, it's a real tragedy when people are out of work for long periods of time, as we've seen. And my job is to get Americans back to work. If I'm president of the United States, I'll worry about your jobs, not my job. Plan, my plan does this. My plan makes America the most attractive place in the world for entrepreneurs, for innovators, for job creators. It says if, uh, if, if Boeing wants to build in South Carolina, they can build in South Carolina. And, and, it, and it says if BMW wants to find a good place to go to work, why, it's very nice right here in Greenville. So, so we, I want to make America the most attractive place in the world again for, for investments and for, for people to hire other folks. And so I'll, I'll get our tax rates competitive, get our regulators to see that part of their job is to encourage the private sector as opposed to crushing it. I want to make sure that our tax rates for employers are competitive with other nations. Two, you get regulators and regulations to encourage the private sector as opposed to just burdening it. Three, you open new markets for American goods and you crack down on cheaters like China that steal our intellectual property. But you know the greatest threat that we, we face globally over the next decade is a nuclear Iran. And, and this president failed to put in place crippling sanctions in Iran. He failed to stand up for the dissident voices in Iran as they spoke out. And he's failed to describe the military options we might have to protect ourselves from a, a nuclear run. He even pulled back our nuclear defense system from Eastern Europe. This, uh, this president's failed in Iran. I see a president who has appeased some of the worst actors in the world, like Ahmadinejad. I will stand up for the people who demonstrated the streets for freedom around the world. I believe in Obamacare. If I'm the next president of the United States, I'll do something very different. I will repeal Obamacare on day one with all the energy I can muster. Now, I'll need the help, of course, of uh, Congress to get that done, but I will also make sure that while we're waiting for the, uh, rep the, uh, uh, the repeal to occur, I will direct the Secretary of Health and Human Services to grant a waiver from Obamacare to all 50 states. Because I happen to believe that the people who should guide health care in this country are not government bureaucrats, but free people doing what they think is right for themselves.